Hey, welcome in. Happy Friday. Another great slate of high school football games dialed up across the 757 tonight in Chesapeake. Oscar Smith hosting Hermitage out of Richmond. The Tigers were eight and four last season. They told me a couple weeks ago they are ready to get back to the Class 6 mountaintop in 2024. Tigers cage entrance, I got to say, extra lit tonight. Season opener sort of energy, but it was a slow start in terms of the game. Tigers defense, though, stifling early on. Little bubble pass. Christopher Johnson coming up with the tackle for loss. Coaches call his teammates rallying behind him. Second quarter now, Brandon Nesbitt, 24 yards, cutting back, touchdown scamper, gave his team the 9-0 lead. Ensuing kickoff, Oscar Smith boots it deep, and the Panthers trying to come up with a return. Look at Dante Brooks Jr. I mean, a monster hit. Go ahead and celebrate it. You could hear it. Hermitage ends up punting to Jamari Deloach back there. And I talked to Jamari a couple weeks ago. He was a cool, calm, collected leader for this group. He's going to go right, 32 yards, short punt return for a touchdown, but it still counts for six, 16 nothing at that point. Oscar Smith goes on to win 44 to six. King Sport, which made it to the Class 5 region semifinal last year at home against Churchland for that season opener. First offensive play of the season for King Sport. DeAndre Artis Boom airs it out, but it is picked off by the truckers Jordan Hayes but they couldn't capitalize. Bulldogs back with the ball. Javon Ford. Ford, a lot of colleges interested in him. He does this a lot. Short touchdown run. He's money at the goal line. Seven to nothing. Second quarter. Boom. The play fake. Rifles out to Jamal Mackey. And that ends up being a 17-yard touchdown run. Jamal Mackey, excuse me. King Sport over Churchland tonight. You see the final score, 38-6. to six. In Norfolk, Lake Taylor is hosting Pocosin. We're in the third quarter, 13-9. Islanders are leading. Titans with a prime opportunity to score right here. Promise Royal looking for Jaden Yancey, but it's broken up by Dom Galagak. That was on fourth down. Pocosa in offense went on a ball, a ball control drive. Handoff to Khalil Smith. Chunk first down. Another run would get him closer to pay dirt. Eli Tyndall, the quarterback sneak, made it 21-6. That was the final. Class 2 Pocosa beats the Titans tonight for their first win of the season. At Todd Stadium in Newport News, Warwick playing host to Grassfield from Chesapeake, and it would be Warwick's defense making a statement early by sacking the Grizzlies quarterback on the first drive of the game, setting the tone. Then, Warwick on offense, Cameron Glenn dives in the end zone, short TD run, 7 to nothing. The Raiders defense continuing just sort of the run they had from last year, shutting them down again. Grassfield, this one was in Chesapeake last year. Christian Corbin picking up the fumble deep in Grizzly territory. That fumble led to this. Saeed Williams Jr. dives in there. Warwick wins big, 35 to nothing. All right, Nansman River taking on Bethel up in Hampton in the second quarter. Nansman River up 22 to six when Bethel quarterback Derek Fisher fakes the handoff, runs it in for the score. Bethel doesn't kick the PAT, the PAT. They line up for two and Fisher pulls it down. He's in there, 22 to 14 at that point. Nansman River looking to get on the board. Tyrell Grant connects, Calvin Holloway catch and run, but oh no, it's a fumble. And Nansman River giving the lead away, but they would bounce back after the turnover. And this time, Grant hits Quincy Gilmer. He turns on the Jets around the left side. He gets into the end zone. They don't squander away that lead. Nansman River goes on to win tonight, 36 to 14. All right, from games from the peninsula last night, we wanted to show you, but we actually got stuck in traffic. These things tend to happen. Couldn't get back for highlights in last night's show. Here they are. Again, this is Thursday night. Darlene Stadium, Woodside taking on Hampton. The Crabbers led by their talented sophomore quarterback, Marcus Chapman Jr. He's got an offer from NC State. Third quarter, finding Levante Chapman. Open, Chapman to Chapman connection. Slides into the end zone, 13 to six after that. And then he's on the sidelines like, hey, teammates, check me out. I got a little dance going. That's how these things happen. There's trends, you know. Fourth quarter now, Wolverine, Zephaniah Palacios to Isaiah Foyer. Tie game. So you see the scoreboard, 13 to 13 at the end of regulation. This was a great one. We're in overtime now. Hampton gets the ball first. Chapman, QB sneak. He's in there from a yard out. But they would miss the PAT, so they're leading 19 to 13. Woodside responds. Tayshawn Campbell up the gut. All they got to do to win it is make the PAT and Woodside goes home with a win. But the Crabbers block the PAT and like that, it's over. They would go on to win actually final score this one, 25 to 19. At Todd Stadium, Western Branch was taken on Menchville. Beautiful night. Defense was the name of the game in the first quarter. Elias Graham, watch this, for Menchville. Diving interception. You talk about awareness right there. No score going into the second quarter, but the Brewers, Bruins, 
turn it up on offense from there. Makari Brown Porter takes the handoff, physical run, leaps into the end zone. That's all Branch needed to get rolling as they would put up three more scores in this one. And they opened their season last night with the 28 to nothing win. All right, Friday night flights start September 6th on Wavy TV 10 at 11:13. Mark your calendars. That is a week from tonight. We'll see you then.